Thank you for that fantastic conversation. For our next fireside chat, the open internet boom, please welcome back Michael Del Castillo with Dominic Williams, founder and chief scientist, Definity. Hello, thank you so much for joining us, Dom. It's a pleasure to chat with you. Great to be here, Michael, thank you. Um, I We had a, a chance to talk earlier and uh, there's a bit about your origin story that as a reporter, I would be remiss if we didn't start with. So uh, you you previously founded a company that has something to do with monsters. And, uh, and, and, and these monsters, uh, in some way, I think, provide some really cool talking points uh, about the evolution of the open internet. So could you just uh, kick us off with a very brief address about what, what it was that you were doing that had to do with monsters and the connection between that and an open internet. Well, you know, in truth, I've, I've been developing all kinds of systems for, for many years um, as a sort of engineering entrepreneur. And in, in fact, I started with distributed systems in the dot-com era. I was trying to create um, the world's first mass online file storage service, um, accelerated with uh, sort of, uh, sorry? Years before Dropbox. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. It was a few years before Dropbox. And trying to use this uh, differential um, compression technology. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, the, the sort of last big thing I did before uh, this project was a thing called Fight My Monster. It was a kid's game. It was an MMO, a massively multiplayer online game. And I actually you know a, a, a lot of uh, aspects of the R&D sort of did feed into to what I'm doing now. We... Um, used, I think we were the first sort of production application of uh, the Cassandra database, which is a kind of decentralized database that can scale out very easily. I also created a horizontally scalable game server. So that involved quite a lot of distributed computing. So it sort of queued up um, a lot of my work in, in blockchain. And importantly, there was a, a currency involved in this project. Uh, could you talk to me a little bit about the buildup, sort of the bridge between this distributed system that allowed uh, for these monsters to compete uh, with a cryptocurrency reward system and what oh. today? Well, it wasn't a cryptocurrency, of course, because I'd have got in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, by the end, there are, there are a few million kids playing this thing. I don't know what the result would have been if, if it were a real cryptocurrency, but probably not good. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, the kids had like a profile page. On the profile page, they had their collection of monsters, which they could sort of level up and fight and trade. Uh, they had a friends list. They had a list of their previous fights. And uh, they, they had a big pile of um, gold nuggets. And, you know, one of the objectives was to you know, build this pile as big as you could, um, and it's certainly the case that you know kids, kids, kids enjoyed um, trading monsters and oh, trying to build this pile up. Definity. What, what, what's the what, what? Basically, what is Definity, and sort of what lessons did you learn from that experience that have uh, led to this sort of next generation of, of distributed work? And. Um, you know, I think the 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 learnings, if the, you know, the, the, there were some learnings. I mean, probably occurred behind the scenes with respect to distributed computing protocols that I used. Um, one one of the aspects of the game was that it had to scale out. It was very highly interactive, um, and I needed all the kids to be connected to each other, even though there are a very large number of them. And because you couldn't do that with a single game server, so I had to create a horizontally scalable game server. But but in 2013, I sort of reconnected with. Uh, at that time, Bitcoin was, was pretty much everything. Um, and uh, by the end of that year, I was thinking, look, I, I'll create a, a, a cryptocurrency for the, for the games industry called GameCoin. And uh, you know, that got me looking at um, some of the early proof of stake ideas out there. And um, quickly, I realized that you know, the technology was still very nascent and a lot of work needed to be done. And then I uh, started working on another um, idea called Pebble um, through 2014. So I, I began actually doing sort of full-time full crypto research in 2014. And and so the 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 final, well, I should say it's final because that's an evolution, but the most recent development is Definity. So what is Definity and how, if it, if it works the way you hope it will, how will it help enable a more open internet? Well, Definity is actually just 
the foundation pursuing this project. So the Definity Foundation is a not-for-profit based in Switzerland, um, and it's uh, performing a lot of pioneer, pioneering work on something called the Internet Computer. And there are some other organizations joining the fray too. So the Internet Computer is an extension of the Internet. So today, the Internet is a public network. And the Internet Computer extends the Internet, so as well as being a public network, it's also a compute platform. And it's an end-to-end -end compute platform. So you can use it as a complete solution for building uh, enterprise systems, internet services, and in actual fact, it's built using a, a blockchain, a, a novel blockchain that runs at web speed, that has unbounded capacity and provides a very, very flexible uh, smart contract framework that you can use to create dApps at scale, if you like, um, such that, uh, it, it can provide a superior alternative to the traditional technology stack. So we want to be clear, we want, we want people to abandon building on closed proprietary infrastructures like Amazon Web Services. We also want people to abandon building using traditional uh, building blocks like databases and essentially build using smart contracts directly in cyberspace. And there are huge advantages um, that can be had by doing this. So of course, um, if you build on the internet computer, you're building on an open environment, a public, a public compute platform. And this is rather like um, using the internet for connectivity rather than something like America Online. You're building on an open public environment that's also permissionless. And the advantages of smart contracts are that, first of all, um, they're tamper-proof. So when you build systems on the internet computer, they're secure by default. That's very different to building on traditional uh, IT, where everything you build is insecure by default, and you have to protect, try and protect it with things like firewalls and seam logging, and, and we know how well that works. It doesn't work. And I love. At all. Right. So I'm glad I you brought up smart contracts because I, I think that um, a, a lot of people um, who are outside of the blockchain world, who who aren't necessarily um, the people who are coming and reading my stories every day. Um, but who are in our audience today? You know, these are um, company builders, they're investors, uh, they are coders and developers uh, who uh, might have sort of peripheral experience with blockchain and cryptocurrency, but it's not, they don't live it and breathe it like, like I do and I think like you do. Um, and I think for, for a lot of these people, you get the impression that, that they think that these sort of blockchain-based infrastructures, these these uh, alternatives to the sort of centralized servers that currently run the internet um, is, is way too complicated. It's it's sort of more of a, we, we hear people talking about the the uh, um, solution looking for a problem uh, when in fact I've I've heard you uh, speak really clearly about sort of how this could actually be a simplification process. So talk to me a little bit about that confusion there. How do you see a blockchain based internet simpler than what we have today? Well, first of all, um, you know, when you build using traditional IT, uh, you're nearly always building some kind of Rube Goldberg machine. There are all these different components that you have to combine. You know, you've got your cloud service, maybe you've got Kubernetes, you've got databases, web servers, firewalls, um, middleware. It's extraordinarily complex. And not only is the assembly of components complex and unreliable and insecure, um, but you're probably engaging with a vast number of different vendors, all of whom want to make you a captive customer. Our proposition is that you abandon all of that and that you build using smart contracts on the internet computer. And actually, smart contracts make things much simpler. It's true that nascent early blockchain technology uh, has been complex to use. But smart contracts are inherently simpler to use because, uh, for example, uh, they can directly interoperate with each other. They're unstoppable. They're secure by default. And we see a future in which people just write code and push it to the internet to create enterprise systems and internet services and things like DeFi. Um, and it's just much simpler. So one of the great advantages, actually, of the internet computer, I and mean, you can list them, I mean, yeah, sure, you're building on a public compute platform. You're building on the internet, essentially, by writing code to uh, cyberspace. It's secure by default. You don't need firewalls to protect it or anything like that. It's unstoppable. Um, but also, it greatly simplifies 
the construction of systems and services. And actually, if you look at the costs in IT, the costs really relate to complexity. And for example, if you take a Fortune 500 company, 85% of their IT costs will be IT operations. And you break down those IT operations costs and 90% plus relate to completely unnecessary complexity. So, uh, you know, one of the most important things we can do is provide people with a much simpler way of building. And that's what the internet computer does. And when you build, you also get a lot of things for free. You, you, you know, you, you're getting a system that's or service that's secure by default. You're getting a system or service that's unstoppable. And, you know, in a kind of interesting twist, you know, the internet computer reimagines uh, small contracts as a scaling platform. So really- We, we aim to make it easier to scale. Um, could you list off, because um, I, I think it's important to clarify for a business conversation, um, who, who are you competing against? Who, who's the competition? Well, that's a good question. We see ourselves competing against the ways that we build systems and services today. So we want people to abandon traditional IT. That means we want people to abandon cloud services, uh, content distribution networks, firewalls, databases, um, middleware, all of that, the whole stack, and just begin building by writing smart contracts and pushing them to the internet computer. And we think this will provide humanity with immense benefits. Dom, thank you so much for taking the time to speak today. Uh, we're you. looking forward to continuing to follow your progress and staying in touch for the years down the road. Thank you, Michael. Thanks.